Hello Piggy Sue, happy birthday. Hope you're having a lovely day. Have you had any nice presents, Piggy Sue? Hope you're having a lovely day. Hello, Chris. How are you? Puggy Sue. <laughs> Chris has put, happy birthday, Puggy Sue. <laughs> Puggy Sue. Hello, Alison. Hello there. Hello, Ben. <laughs> Hello, Burnett. Hello, Ginny. Thanks for my gift, Ginny. Thank you very much. Hello, Karen. Hi, Sue. No problem, Sue. Good afternoon, Shirley. How are you, Shirley? Hello, Marjorie. Good afternoon. Good morning, Belinda. How are you? <laughs> I'm laughing at Chris. Chris is put Puggy Sue. Happy birthday, Puggy Sue. <laughs> Hi, Liz. How are you? Hello, Rianne. <laughs> Having a great day. Have had a Bernese Mountain. You've had a Bernese Mountain dog puppy. Oh, have we got pictures, Piggy Sue? We need pictures. Hello, Janet. <laughs> Yes, no, it's not very nice weather here either. Hello, Shabneys. And my shelves won't go in my room because it's not a brick wall, it's studded. So I'm not very happy. Hello, June. Hello, Flower. We missed you, Tracy. <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? Hi, Joe. Hello, Lindy. A few more happy birthdays there, Piggy Sue. Hello, Judith. Is this the first time for you, Judith? Well, welcome. Welcome, Judith. Hi, Maureen. Hi, Diane. Hello, Flower. Hello, Sheila. Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> oh, you've got to post photos, Piggy Sue. You've got to post photos. We need to see. <laughs> I can't believe you've got a Benny's Mountain Dog. Got to have pictures. I can't believe we haven't had pictures already. Good afternoon, Sue. Hello there. Good afternoon, everybody. Well, I've been on the phone for the last hour and a half, so I've done hardly any prep. So goodness knows what we're going to end up with. So it's beautiful weather for Belinda, uh, but hot. It's 103. No, it's dull here, Belinda. Hello, Diane. Hello there. Hi, Abs. Hi, Lynn. Good afternoon, everybody. Hi, Maggie. Yes, welcome, Judith, to the crazy gang. <laughs> Chris has disappeared now. She she did a, a little word in there of Puggy Sue. <laughs> yes, we want puppy pictures, definitely. I agree, Sheila. Hi, Abs. So I'll just give a few moments for everybody to join. We've got to have photos. Hi, Lee. It's great to hear you again, Tracy. Was getting withdrawal some. I know it's been a while, hasn't it, Liz? I've been gardening and tidying my craft room, but I'm disappointed because I can't find any room for my shelves. But I've just had another thought. Mm. I keep having different thoughts about where I'm going to put things. So I've just had another thought now. Ian will be pleased. <laughs> I don't know, Karen. I've literally put a pile of stuff out here and no idea where I'm going. That it was Abs's fault, keeping me talking and blaming him. He kept me yakking. We're terrible when we get on the phone. We can't stop talking. We put the world to rights. Hello, Lucy. Hello, Flower. It's a beautiful name, isn't it? Yes, it is. Where are we now? You got there before I could. <laughs> I could say that. <laughs> See, we all want photos, you see now, Piggy Sue. Hello, Sheila. Good afternoon. B46, not far from the NEC, Birmingham. Sun is out beautiful. It's not very beautiful in Cheshire. It's dull. Hello, hello. Long time no speak abs. <laughs> all of five minutes ago. <laughs> 
Right, I'm just giving a few moments for everybody to join us and then we'll do a bit of housekeeping. Hello, everybody. Oh, I'm always flying by the seat of my pants. We can talk, can't we, Abs? We put, we put everything to right. We can talk for England, we can. And then I go, oh, no, it's 10 to 4 and I've got a Facebook Live. Oh, no. <laughs> Quick, tidy my desk. That's what my life goes like. That's what it's like all the time. Hello, Jackie. Are you having a break from the translating, Jackie? So I'm just going to do a bit of housekeeping. Trying to make room in my craft room for my show. sewing machines. I like how it's sewing machines, not sewing machine. Actually, that's something I need to make room for as my sewing machine because it's downstairs at the moment. So that's a good point. That's not a bad idea, actually, Jenny. I need to bring my sewing machine up here. Yes, he is. We have been waiting for him for quite some time. Our last one went over the... Oh, Piggy Sue, that's lovely. Hello, Ali. Hello there. It is crazy in my house, Belinda. It's never normal. Hi, Neat. Ian and the kids are brilliant, Jennifer. Ian's not very happy because the shelves I wanted up won't go in the place that I want them to go. So he is not amused at all. But I've just had another thought. I'm terrible. I'm always thinking about where I can put storage. No problem, Lynn. Hope works okay. So I've just got a bit of housekeeping. Just a little reminder that we've got the lovely Leone on her chanda tomorrow. Leone's going to be demonstrating with some of my stamps tomorrow. And I've just been told that we've got some fantastic happy hour deals. Not to be missed happy hour deals. So if you want to add to your collection and you want some happy hour deals, apparently there's some fantastic happy hour deals. I know what the numbers are for the happy hour deals but I don't know when they're going to be uh, added to the shows. So obviously there's five shows, so there are going to be lots of happy hour deals on the shows. I know what numbers are going to be in the happy hour deals, but I don't know when. So the lovely Leone is on TV tomorrow at six o'clock and she's going to be doing some demonstrations with my stamp sets. And you know how fabulous Leone is. She's great fun. And she always does something a little bit different from what I do as well. So that's wonderful. Fabulous birthday money spent. <laughs> Hello, Laura. Hello there. From Milan. Welcome. Hello, Carol. Are you having a small break, Carol? Welcome from Milan, Laura. Hello there. Hope all your stamps... I have all your stamps. I'm a pauper. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, Hope. <laughs> But I just thought I'd let anybody know that there are some wonderful happy hour deals. So if you want to keep your eye out on them, if you've got some that you haven't got in your collection. Good afternoon, Janice. Hello there. Hello, Karen. So I think we've got to a nice level. You want to know, do you want to know the numbers, Lucy? There you go. <laughs> them are the numbers that are going to be in the happy hour deal. Do you like my scribble? If I hold it up, them are the numbers that are going to be in the happy hour deal during the one day special. I don't know in what order, but the A4s, the Teasel, the Beetle and these numbers are going to be in the happy hour deals. <laughs> no problem at all, Judith. So I'm going to create a project today. So I'm going to I'm going to create a plaque, I think. I think I'm going to create a plaque. Hi, Kate. Welcome. Can you see the Tim Holtz tape? That's because I pulled that out quickly so I could do something with it. Yay, you've, you're, you're all set for the workshop, Maureen. Hold them up again, Tracy. Sorry, Chris. Sorry, Chris. Was I a bit quick? Let me see if I can hold it still. This is my happy hour. <laughs> There you go. That's my scribble, as as I was I was being told that they're in the happy hour. Yippee, Belinda! That's fantastic news. Wonderful news. So I'm going to create a plaque today, and I'm going to use the honeybee stamp. No idea what I'm doing. You're very welcome, Chris. Uh, so I've got no idea what I'm doing because it's a bit of fly by the seat of your pants. I've literally prepped 
the plaque and that was it. I didn't have time for anything else. Yay, thank you, Lorraine. Thank you for ordering flower. So I'm now going to add, I'm going to start with some texture paste. And we're going to use the, is it tribal stencil? We're going to use this stencil. As you can see, it's very well used, as you can see. So I'm going to use the tribal stencil. Hello, Helen. Hello there. Hello, Carmel. Welcome. Good afternoon. Hope everybody's well. How are you all? How are you all? What have you been up to? You're very welcome, Lucy. What have you all been up to? Have you been like me, organising? A few of you have been organising. Hello, Rizwani. So I'm just using my texture paste because the texture paste was on my desk. So I'm going to use the texture paste to cover my plaque. So we're literally going with the flow. And the reason I'm doing the Facebook Live is because I haven't done one for a while because I'm actually on holiday. But I just thought I'd come back and we'd do a little quick Facebook Live. But I'm not in a rush. So it, it's, I'm just going to take my time. And I met at the marina for coffee. Oh, and it was half price. Was that with Lindy? Chris, did you meet at the marina? Hello, Lynn. I'm glad your stamps arrived. Brilliant news. So I'm just adding some texture paste just to cover my substrate to give me some texture. So I'm just adding that and I'm going to dry that before I use my stencil. Oh, did you get, how's Lindy? Is Lindy all right? Uh, do you know, Belinda, I, all I read then was I was able to pinch a nut. I was like, pardon? I was able to pinch nuts and bolts, sort of, from daughter for my Tim Holtz embellishments. I need to read the whole sentiment, sentence. The only thing I, thing I read there was I was able to pinch nuts. I didn't read the rest. I was getting a bit concerned then, Belinda. I just need to get my heat gun. This is Abs's fault because I was yakking so much. I haven't got my heat gun ready. Let me get my heat gun. So what have you been up to? I did, that's all I read, Belinda. <laughs> Hello, Anne. I'm just thinking, Ian, what about if I had the shelves there? That's a brick wall and I moved them to there and that wooden shelf to there underneath the shelves. Would, the, would it work then? Sorry, folks, I'm just discussing my shelves. Yes, would do, yeah. I might put it there if you can't. Yeah. My husband's really pleased I'm discussing shells. I was a bit concerned, Belinda, when you said you'd found nuts. I was thinking, excuse me? <laughs> what I'm making, Leah Donna, is I'm making a plaque. No idea what, how I'm making the plaque. At the moment, I'm just making a plaque and I'm going to be using my honeybee stamp. And all I've done at the moment is I've laid some texture paste over the plaque, just randomly. Oh, are you doing the classes? I'm waiting for mine. I'm gone, I missed that. What classes are we doing? Tell me what classes you're doing. Oh, are you? That was Kim. I missed Kim. Where, where's Kim? Away at the caravan with grandkids. Are you enjoying the, the caravan? Oh, Tando, yes, that was the books, wasn't it? I cannot hear, I can't hear Ian going, whippy, poor bloke. <laughs> he's not very happy because he's drilled a massive hole in the wall and the shelves can't go there because it's a studded wall, it's not a brick wall. So I'm now frantically looking for another wall, but I think I've found one. They could go there, couldn't they, Ian? Why don't you just pull the cup cupboards out and all that stuff and just... Brackets. Sorry? You can get those brackets. Oh, can you? They'd be, this, but they'd be very close together because of these. No, but can't they go there? Oh, Is yeah, go you... there, yeah. You put them there. Got to show it, Lorraine. Di Oliver needs some tips from you for her online boot classes. From me? Ha, ha, ha. They can't go on the studded wall, Belinda, because it won't hold the weight and they won't grip. They won't grip the rods that he needs to screw in. So they won't, they won't work. So he's got to put them on another wall. 
because I'm good like that. So I've just added that texture paste. So yes, he's very happy. He's now wiping the wall, which he's now got to fill and paint. So he's now cussing and cursing. I have shells on a studded wall, Carol says. Ian? Yes, they're, they're designed them specifically. So they can only go into the brick behind oh. the because they guarantee that it'll hold the 35 kilograms, whoever it is. Her book folding went wrong three times. Oh, but we can we can sort that out. We can sort that out, Chris. So what I'm going to do now, so Ian's wiping the wall, he's got to repaint it and refill it now to put the shelves in a different place. Because I'm good like that. I'm going to use my tribal stencil, as you can see, very well used. And what I'm doing is I'm going to aim for this area here to add some stenciling. We've been severely pruning an 80 foot length of conifer hedge. It's looking worse before it looks better. <laughs> Doesn't it all, Jenny? It always looks worse before it looks better. A bit like, a bit like my artwork. My artwork looks worse before it looks better. That's just exactly like my artwork. So I'm just going to add some of the texture just down the central area of my plaque. So hope you <laughs> Jane's saying, I hope you're safe. Save your craft stuff. So you've obviously seen a comment I've missed. Exactly, Carol. The amount of stuff I buy needs a strong wall. So as you can see, I've got some nice texture there. I'm just going to move the plaque out the way, just for a second, just so I can clean this mess up. Because there's not much room in my craft room now because my husband's in here and it's just a total mess. I could do, somebody could do with you, Ian, for, the, the, for doing the DIY. Do you, fancy get, do you fancy hiring yourself out? I haven't got the patience. <laughs> he hasn't got the patience, he says. He hasn't got the patience. So you could also add this texture paste to another piece of card if you wanted, because you'd get that texture on a piece of card. So you could add that to a piece of card. Hi, Ian. You see, they're all saying hi. Hello. <laughs> He's ready to swing for me. He's ready to swing for me. My craft room has been moved around. I take my craft room wherever I go. Oh, bless hope. Yes, Ian's ready to swing for me. So if you're using a bit of texture paste on your project, just make sure that you use the rest of the texture paste on your project on a piece of card. Because that's your extra texture that you can use for another background. Hello, Sylviane. Hello there. Bonjour. We hear you pounding in the background. <laughs> pardon. <laughs> I beg your pardon, Belinda. <laughs> oh, can he do an impression while he's there? <laughs> oh dear. Try. I, I've cut the carrot out, Diane. I liked cutting the wonky carrot. So I'm just drying the texture paste. Take care, everybody's saying. Will you be able to fill it all right, Ian? So I'm going to have them there, Ian, on that wall. Good. Ian's so pleased. Did you hear him say good? Belinda said, Ian, I can hear the I can hear you pounding in the background. I beg your pardon. <laughs> oh, stay safe, Hope. Stay safe. So I'm just drying my texture paste. And what you have to remember when you're drying texture paste is just to remove the heat away from your texture paste. Christine's been collecting leaves. I love how you're all collecting leaves. Don't forget to put them in between a heavy book because they'll disintegrate if you just leave them outside. Put them inside a heavy book or something just so they don't disintegrate and maybe put some copier paper in between. Oh, I'm glad it's Miss Texas. What was that? I'm crafting along and I've used par parched earth. Ooh. 
<laughs> yeah, Kim. When I'm on a chandy, Ian's pounding in the cab room. <laughs> Poor Ian. What is he like? So I've dried my texture paste and that tribal stencil gives lovely texture in the background. I really like that. I forgot. Oh, Lee's forgot about the leaves. <laughs> Don't forget about the leaves, will you, Lee? So, yes, for those that have just joined us, we've got the lovely Leone on her TV tomorrow. So join Leone. She'll give you some more inspiration as well. She'll give you some fabulous inspiration. So I'm just adding heavy cream paint. I'm adding heavy cream to the background of my plaque. You'd be pleased to know I have at least prepped a plaque, but that's all I've done. I've done nothing else. I've sort of prepped the background. So I'm just painting the plaque with cream. Have you got your leaves, Jane? Brilliant. Don't forget, don't leave them out in the open air or else they'll just crumble. So just put them inside a heavy book or else they'll just crumble. So just add some cream paint to your substrate. This just makes it so it's all one colour, just so that it's a matte colour. And it makes it, if you make something a matte colour, it makes it easier to work with. So that's why it's matte. Yay, hello Alison. Good afternoon, Sarah John. Hello there. <laughs> now Chris is laughing at Belinda. <laughs> Recorder. Thank you, Ginny. So I'm just going to give this cream paint a dry. And then you need to add a second layer. But it doesn't take long for this paint layer to dry. You don't have to dry them, actually, Judith. You can pick them on Saturday morning. You can pick your leaves on Saturday morning and you can use fresh leaves. You don't have to use dry leaves. I've already tested it with fresh leaves. You do not have to have dry ones. It's just at the time I used dry leaves, but I've tested it with new leaves, fresh ones, and they work just as well. So don't worry about it if you pick them at quarter to ten on Saturday morning. Seed package just arrived as well, Alison's just said. So I'm just painting the substrate with two layers of heavy cream paint. Just painting that. So now it means that my substrate is one colour. It makes it easier to work with if it's one colour. Just let me clean that up just so that we've just got our area nice and clean. It just makes it, when you're working on a project, if it's all one colour, it just makes it easier for me to work with. Especially when I'm doing a layered project as well. So I'm just wiping that up. Just give that a dry. And I'm not in a rush. So glad you mentioned the leaves. That's all right, Karen. You can watch on rerun. No problem at all. I'm probably going to do another Facebook Live, but I'm thinking of using alcohol inks because I got a little blowy. Tracy, can you say about Eileen? You can just mention it there, Karen. It's, you know, it, it's, if you want to advertise that, that's up to you. You can, you can mention it there like you've done there. They can see it on the comments. So I'm just going to give this a dry so I've now got one layered colour it's all right piggy sue don't worry there's still plenty of time there's hardly any prep there's hardly any prep at all and I think Karen wanted to mention that Eileen Hull has got a workshop on the 27th as well so I'm just going to paint the edges of my substrate because it irritates me if the substrate hasn't got the edges neat as well so I'm just making sure that the edges I'm like an advertising campaign here have you noticed oh don't worry about it piggy sue there's no rush flower and all you've got to do for prep piggy sue I've done a prep video and all you've got to do is cut some tags get some leaves 
and cut a circle. There's nothing major for you to do, so don't worry. There's still plenty of time. You enjoy your birthday. Don't worry about sending funds today. Just enjoy your birthday and your little puppy. So I'm just adding the paint to the edges. Just so that you can... It just looks more finished if you remember the edges. And because I haven't been on Facebook and done a Facebook Live for a long time, well, maybe 10 days, I'm just going to take my time. I'm just going to enjoy the process and I'm not going to rush. So I'm just wiping my, pe my painty hands. I have been doing house stuff and lost track of time. That's all right, Peggy Sue, you've been busy. What? It doesn't matter. And a frame. Oh, yes, Alison Lee, a frame, yes. But I've done a prep video, so Piggy Sue can perhaps catch up when she's not enjoying the birthday celebrations. So I'm just drying this. Just to make sure this substrate is dry before I do the next process. So we've got a lovely textural piece now that's all monochromatic. Yay, glad to have you here. Oh, bless you, Belinda. You're so good. So just press that there. So we're just going to give a nice dry to the substrate. I presume Eileen will advertise herself, Karen, rather than on my live. So we're just going to give this a dry like so I was going to ask you something Karen I can't remember now what I was going to ask you I was going to ask you something so we've now got a nice dry substrate I can I, if I can find my big tag dye what do you want cutting oh bless Jill Jill's so good Right, so what I'm going to do now is add some colour to my texture. It's all right, Karen, it's not a problem, but there was something I wanted to ask you as well about something else you'd asked. So we just... It's not a problem, Karen. I advertise everybody's anyway, anybody's workshops. It's just that, obviously, I don't want people to think I'm just going to be advertising for the whole live, that's all. So I'm just going to... Now layer the colour of the paint. There you go. Somebody else is saying happy birthday as well. It's all right, Karen. Don't worry about that. So I'm just going to add some colour to my substrate. What is it? It's OK. I just wanted it to cut the mount board for the cover. Oh, yes, because Belinda's in the States. Belinda's in the States. Perhaps you could use, if you use cardboard, Belinda, you definitely need to uh, gesso it if you use cardboard. So I'm now going to be using some Distress Oxides, Speckled Egg and Vintage Photo. And these are the Distress Oxide reinkers. The Distress Oxide reinkers. So I'm just going to add that to the texture. And what I'm going to do is add it a bit of colour at a time. But you need to give the reinkers a little bit of a shake. So these are very concentrated, so you can add a little bit of an ink at a time. You don't need to add too much ink at a time. I was going to ask Karen something, and I can't remember what I was going to ask. You messaged me about something else, Karen, to mention to people, and I can't remember what it was now. So I'm just going to layer the colour and then spritz with water and then just dry the ink but I'm just going to let it run but it's important that the base layer is dry it's important that the base layer is dry yes if, if you're going to use cardboard uh, Belinda I would gesso it because you need a white base because your print won't show up for the leaves so you need a white base Yes, Eileen's dyes are great. They're fab. Eileen's dyes are. They're brilliant. But I, I, there was something else that Karen wanted me to mention. I'm sure it was about Eileen, but I can't remember. Karen, what was else was it about Eileen? 
it wasn't just the workshop there was something else and I can't remember yes Eileen Hall is a designer for Sizzix and she designs lots of journals books 3d elements fab dies so I'm just adding layers of colour with my um, Distress Oxide reinkers. But there was something else you wanted me to mention, Karen, and I can't remember what it was. So I'm just adding layers of this colour to my substrate. And it's going to give me a mottled effect. And what you can do is you can dab anywhere that you've got too much ink, you can dab. But you just keep layering the colour. I've got a small guillotine. Yes, Joe, you can absolutely use ordin ordinary distress reinkers. I just like to use all my products just so that it gives me some different looks. The added advantage with using the reinkers is you're getting a concentration of colour. And when you pour it over an acrylic painted backdrop, you're going to get a mottled effect, which I will show you once we've layered all the layers of paint. And you can keep dripping and layering the colours. I will show you what it looks like when it's all mottled. Yes, she has, Jennifer. Thank you. Oh, that was it, Karen. The swap. That was it, Karen. That was it, because Karen's thinking of setting up a swap in the group. I knew there was something else. You see, I do remember, Karen. It was just, we have a conversation about that many things. I couldn't remember which bit we were talking about. So what you do is you spend time adding the layers of colour and you make sure that some of it goes on the acrylic paint. Make sure some of the layers go on the acrylic paint because that's when you get your mottled effect. I like, the thing for me, Lucy, is, you know, since I've been doing this reorganisation, I've been reorganising my craft room and I refuse to just use a craft product for one use. I like it to have several uses, just so that we get plenty of use after we've spent our money on craft products. So can you see when I'm dabbing the paint, I'm dabbing some of it back on to the background so it gives me a mottled effect. I'm dabbing some of the paint back on to give me a mottled effect as I'm drying it, as I'm drying the substrate. You need to keep with this, you know what I'm like, it's all about taking your time to add the layers. Don't rush the process. And don't add too much brown because you don't want it to look like a muddy mess. You want it to look like you're adding layers, not like you're creating a muddy mess. So just take your time. And what you don't want is the hair that's in your project as well. Like you don't want a long red-headed hair. Yes, the reinkers are perfect for shaving foam. But I'd just like to, because we've got the shaving foam technique on YouTube, I'm trying to give you some different ideas to use your products, to give your products another lease of life. So what you're doing is you're using kitchen roll to add to the background because the kitchen roll will add to the pattern. Because the kitchen roll is slightly textured and patterned, it will add to the textural background. So you need to take your time. A hairy carrot. <laughs> I'm never going to live down carrots, am I? I'm never going to live down carrots. I'm always going to be known for carrots now. So I'm just making sure that I keep adding these layers of ink and then just dabbing with my kitchen roll. <laughs> long red hairs Karen don't look quite as good on my projects I don't think Eileen Hull will be doing a workshop with red hairs all over a project can you imagine no 
all the professionals don't have red airs on their project, unlike Tracy Evans, the professional as heavy. So we're just adding some more of this colour because I want more of the blue than I do of the brown. So just dry. Tracy, I was good and didn't even message Adam on a chander when he requested me. <laughs> I was so pleased, Belinda. Some people did, though. Some people did message Adam so that he could find out all my information. So that, for me, is a nice background. Let me show you two differences. Let me bring... Oops. Let me bring in the one I've dried. This one is more subtle than this one. But your background ends up really mottled. You get, end up with a really mottled background. But this is as you keep dabbing and keep drying, you get difference in techniques. It depends how many layers you add. And what you can do, because it's oxide, you can still spritz with water and you can still reactivate because it's not completely dry. <laughs> Leah Donna says, I should cut the hair up and add it like a circle, like a spot, like a red-headed spotlight. You just, you're not good for me, you lot are. You just lead me astray. So give that a good dry. So just give that a nice dry. And it just means your re-inkers are being used, not just to re-ink your ink pads. You can use them in your shaving foam technique or you can use them for your backgrounds. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to get stamp set 332 and I'm going to use the text stamp. Did you notice it was in my wallet because it's all tidy in my wallet? So I'm going to use this text stamp here from stamp set 332. Have you missed, <laughs> Have you missed us Maureen, the nutty lot? Look at the state of my hands. Just look at the state of them. I've only been live for a short while. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some background stamping. And I'm going to use Ground Espresso with this little text stamp. Look at the state of my hands. My hands are disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. So is my kitchen roll. I've got no kitchen roll. Bet Ian's and back. Honestly, Karen, Ian just ignores me. He's heard mine in your conversation, Karen. He knows what we're like, so he just ignores my conversation, Karen. So I'm just going to add some of this text in the background. I just love this text stamp. And I'm loving Grand Espresso Distress Oxide Ink. I just love it. And this adds for the tone-on-tone -tone feel to my project. It's just giving me some text in the background just to give me another layer to my design just to give me some more elements and some more texture to my design Han look at the state of that Ladonna. look at that just disgusting hands disgusting hands and i'm just going to enjoy this facebook live because sometimes I'm in a little bit of a rush because I worry about keeping you too long, but I'm just going to enjoy the process on this one. I'm not going to rush at all. I'm just going to take my time. So I'm just adding the lovely text down the side. And it's sort of flowing like this. So I've got a flow. I'm still keeping these areas open, keeping this area open because I don't want to add too much. I want to keep some of my background open. I love how you all answer each other. Replying to Judith, what did Judith say? Judith, need to get some wallets. Oh, yes, wallets, wallets. You see, I've got you all organising, haven't I? You're all organising your spaces now, aren't you? It's addictive, it's addictive. So just leave me text stamp there, like so. And then, what, what other stamp do I want? Do I want, no, not at the moment. So what I'm thinking is, I, I now need, where's my ink blending tool? 
ink blending to it. Let me just get some cut. Oh, it's there. What I'm going to do now is add some shading around the outside. Just a touch of shading around the outside with Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink. So just add that. Oh, I love how you're all answering, Judith. This is Judith's first time here. And we're all leading Judith astray. So I'm just adding some Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink to my substrate. And I'm not going to leave it like that because it's too, too rich, too much. So we will be spritzing with water just to soften it a little bit. Just so that it softens those edges a little bit. So we've just added the Distress Oxide reinker around the outside. And what I'm going to do is spritz with water just to soften everything. It just softened. Look at my kitchen. Look at the state of my kitchen roll. Just look at the state of my kitchen roll. Could you do this with distress inks? Absolutely, Kate. Absolutely, Kate. And then, because I've added water, I can dab some of that blending around the outside edge just so that it's a little bit softer. Just so it's not quite as harsh. And because I've spritzed it with water, it now goes more mottled. So give that a dry and I get some ink blots where I've added my text so that it looks more aged. Replying to Hope, A5. Thank you, Karen. So I'm just giving that another dry because I've now spritzed with water to make more of a mottling. Thank you, everybody, for answering everybody. I got some A4 as well, Ros. I got A4 and A5. I haven't found any border ones, have you? Have you found any border ones? So if I lift this up now, you can see I've got quite a bit of mottling here and some ink splots, just so you can see that background. So you can see that you can still see I've got that texture in the background and it is quite mottled in real life. In real life, it's quite mottled. And it means that your distress oxides. No, I haven't seen any border ones. Uh, has she signed up for a parental guidance disclaimer? <laughs> I want some border wallets. So that's our background. So now what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking that this frame will go here like this. And this is one of the Tim Holtz frames. So what I need to do, I've put something down and I can't find it two minutes later, is just add some vintage photo around this frame. Some vintage photo distress oxide ink. I use DL wallets. Oh, I didn't know you could get DL wallets, Jane. Oh, I might need to get some of them. The DL wallets, I didn't know you could get them. So I might need them for my border ones, for my border stamps. So I'm just going to add this here. That's where I'm thinking of adding that frame. Just so it will add. Yes, I, I like that frame there. So what I'm going to do now is I've done no cutting out. So just let's move that frame. Whilst nine, I was going to leave that whilst 9.59 on Saturday morning. <laughs> what you like June so I'm now going to stamp my B stamp I want to stamp the B stamp so I'm just going to add my B I just love the honey bee it's just a lovely size so I'm just going to stamp the honey bee and this is why I like lives different lives different programs this is why I like watching Leone and everybody else because you all come up with different ideas each time so this is why I like watching different people I'm just going to get some paper to block the ink my heat gun is caught on the wheel of my chair so I'm just going to block the ink so I'm just going to block that what was that I recommend the binders for the A4 oh 
You see, I love how you all find these things. So you can all talk to each other while I cut out this image now because I haven't cut out anything. So let me bring in my frame so you can see where I'm going. This is where I'm going. And we're going to cut out the B. And obviously I'm going to do it live because, well, I didn't cut one out. So it's going to be done live. So you talk amongst yourselves while I cut out. So tell me what you've got planned for the rest of the week. What are you going to be doing for the rest of the week? Apart from watching Leone, of course, tomorrow. So what else are you going to be doing? I know that Piggy Sue is doing lots in the garden and having a wonderful birthday. What are the rest of you up to? What have you been doing with yourselves? Karen's been reorganising a room for about 20 years and is still doing wallets and everything. That's Gartland, Karen. She's been doing a room for goodness knows how long now because she's got a huge room and so she's been reorganising that. So what, I use Avery L as well, Belinda. I use Avery L because I love them wallets and I got quite a few in a pack so I use them as well it keeps raining I'll be crafting exactly Kate I do that as well Kate I swing from gardening to crafting because it's raining and Ian is so pleased I'm doing a Facebook live because then it's more excuse not to do the shelves so he is he is rather pleased so I'm just cutting my honeybee out which is quite easy to cut out. I don't find it a problem at all. Let's just move that out of the way. Gardening tomorrow, then a macrame. Oh, a macrame shelf workshop. Wow, Kim. All these talented people that put their hands to so many different crafts. You're all, you are good. A macrame shelf. That's going to take quite a bit of work, isn't it, Kim? A macrame shelf. That'll take quite a bit of work, that will, to do a shelf. Is it to hold something in particular, Kim? Was it to, was it to hold, was your shelf to hold anything in particular? Will it take the weight? Perhaps I should have done a macrame shelf rather than the ones I did. So what I'm thinking now, as I'm just thinking about my layout, and my B is going to go here. But it's obviously going to have some dimensional wings and some colour. So I need to cut, I need to stamp a couple more wings. I need to clean the windows. Oh no, Sue. That's one of the worst jobs ever. Congratulations, Roz. What's Ro hang on, why are we congratulations, Roz? Hang on, Roz says congratulations. Why are we congratulating Roz? Tell me. Hang on, where's Roz? I'm cooking a three-course meal tomorrow as it's our 42nd wedding anniversary. Congratulations, Roz. Cheeky lady. <laughs> I had to say that, Karen. I'm only envious, Karen, because you've got a huge room. That's all it is. So I just th thought I'd take the mickey that you've been reorganising for 20 years. So I just thought I'd get my own back. So I'm just going to cut out the wings and add a bit of blue to the wings. Happy anniversary, Ros. I'm not going to need to do them, but they need cleaning. <laughs> I like your thinking, Sue. Get somebody else to do it, to do the windows. Oh, there's nothing worse than cleaning windows. Ugh. No, thank you. I don't want cleaning windows. I felt like bursting into song then, cleaning windows. What, what's his name? The guy that does the, that, that plays the ukulele and says cleaning windows. Who, who is it that sings that? You see, if Abs was here now, he'd be like, what is she talking about? I know you lot will know who I'm talking about. The guy that plays the, is it the ukulele? And he says, clean, sings cleaning windows. Oh, Carol, I hope it goes okay. Oh, how organised are you, Karen? Karen's doing Christmas cards. You put me to shame. George Formby, that's it. Cleaning. Are you all singing Cleaning Windows now? Are you all singing Cleaning Windows? 
I hope you're all singing it now. Because you should be. I need my speckled egg. I've done the eat out to help out today. Oh, brilliant, Christine. Did you have a nice meal? Was it a nice meal? I'm just getting an ink blending tool just so that I can blend a little bit of the speckled egg on the wings. Yes, I haven't I haven't done Christmas cards for a long time, but I do donate to Crisis. Lonnie Donegan. Is it? I thought it was George, I thought it was George Formby. It's George Formby. Yes, cleaning windows in, in his in his little twang that he does cleaning windows it's George Formby who I'm thinking of you see I knew you lot I'd remember who it was but are you all sitting there now playing with your tambourine and singing George Formby songs because I am I was going to burst into song no I'm not old enough oh all right Diane <laughs> Ginny says oops wrong person <laughs> With his skittle, skiffle board. Is that what it was? With his skiffle board. Honestly, George Formby. I'm showing me age now, aren't I? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this frame down because I want this frame here because this is going to be my focal, focal piece. So I'm going to stick the frame down. Of course, my glue won't work now. Just stick this down because I love the frame. I'm leaning on the lean, oh, that's it. I'm leaning on the lamppost. Did, yeah. <laughs> oh, George Formby. Oh, crikey. I used to love how he sang cleaning windows. I want somebody to sing it to me now. I need Ian. Where's Ian when I need him? I'm sure he could do George Formby. I'm sure he can. Oh, I need Ian. And where's Ian when you need him? I need him to sing it to me. So what I'm going to do now is add a little bit of cotton. Yummy treat. It is a Tim Holtz frame, Judith. It's a Tim Holtz frame. It's in his packs. His packs are baseboards, baseboard frames. And you get lots of different frames in the pack. So it's his baseboard frames. So I'm just using one of them and I'm just using a bit of cotton just to put behind my little wooden embellishment. Just like so. And it's sticking to my finger because there's glue, paint and everything all over my fingers. So it's sticking everywhere. So I'm just adding a bit of that and I'm going to add my embellishment. So this is just a wooden slice. Yeah, we're out of the loop on this one. I can think of Tiny Tim and his ukulele, though. <laughs> Tiny Tim. You need to look up George, George Formby, Belinda. Look him up. Look up Cleaning Windows by George Formby, and then you will understand us, especially when you hear his voice and he starts singing. You're right there, though. This one, not as bad as before. What are we saying now? Not as bad as before. So I'm just going to add my B. Just like so. And then I'm going to add some dimension to the wings. Just to give the B some dimension. Like so. Just give him a little bit of dimension. He's going to move around a bit because he's not set yet. In her 70s, really... Oh, recently joined the ukulele group. Actually, I'm sure Ali or somebody plays ukulele, you know, in the group. I'm sure they play ukulele. I'm sure it's Ali or somebody that plays ukulele. I know they play ukulele. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add this piece of card. So I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. I know, I loved his films as well, Marjorie. I loved his films. I agree. I loved his films as well. I'm going to use figure one from this stamp set. 
look, it's in my folder again that I'm just chucking on the floor that's no longer organised. So I'm just going to use that figure one. So have I got an acrylic block? Let me just get an acrylic block. And just add this figure one. Yes, it's tonic glue, Anne. It is indeed tonic glue. That's what I use, tonic glue. And I'm just going to stamp this figure one on this piece of card. Like so. Let me just add this here. Let's not take it out of the camera, Tracy. Let me just move my plaque out the way and just stamp figure one. Like so. Yes, they just changed the packaging. Tracy, sorry being in the garden. Have to get hubby gardening when he's in the mood. Oh, absolutely, Marjorie. That's why I have to get Ian in the mood when it's doing shelves. I need to make the most of him when I can. If I don't, it won't get done. So I make the most of him when I can. But I love creating projects which when you add the layers, it starts to come to life. When you just take your time to add a few of the layers. So I'm just going to tuck this behind there like that, just so that it just sort of fits there. Just so I've got a figure one. Do I want it there? Yeah, figure one. I have to talk to myself. I need to slide it under. So I'm just going to lift this a bit. That's better. I'm just lifting my substrate a little bit. Can, have you seen the state of my hands though, Terry? My nail varnish looks all right, but look at the state of my hands. Look at the state of my hands. So I'm just lifting this slightly so it can just tuck in like so. And then you can press it back down again. There we go like so there we go and then what i want to do is i want to just add my lit whoops i'm dropping things on the floor i'm just adding some embellishments so i'm going to add this little clip here and i'm going to color that with some alcohol ink only just logged on we'll have to catch up later no problem lindy exactly belinda they'll wash won't they just disgusting, disgusting hands. So I'm just going to use some alcohol ink, some ginger alcohol ink, just to colour this little bit of an embellishment, just to tone it down a little bit, just a touch, just a little bit, like so. And let me just do the other embellishments while I think on, just in case I want to use them, just in case I want to use them. So I'm just toning them down with some alcohol inks, just so they're not quite so silvery. That's all I'm doing, just so they're not quite so silvery. Just so they're sort of two-toned. It just makes them blend in with my project a little bit more. That's all I'm thinking. So I'm just colouring all my embellishments. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this here, like so. Me too, Linda. Where's Linda? Oh, Hillary's only just logged in. Hello, Hillary. It's surprising. It just makes a little bit of difference just to tone down, especially if I lift the project up, just so you can see it and you'll see how much it does help. So I'm just going to hold that there, like so. I did find this. I don't know whether that'll stick there. I need this to stick a little bit first. But you can see that just adding that little bit of alcohol ink, just, is that the ginger colour, Adirondack? It is. It's the ginger colour, Belinda. The ginger. But it just sort of tones it down a little bit, just so that it's not quite so silver, so that it looks a little bit better. So it just tones with the project. But I wanted to keep this slightly white because I need a bit of life in there and there will be some white splatters. So what I'm going to do now is I would like, you know, I don't know what this is called. I don't even know where it's from, but I just thought that would look quite nice on there. Do you know, this is what I'm like with projects. 
So I'm just going to see if I can get this to stick there without it tipping off. Hopefully it'll stay there. So I'm just going to add that there. I, 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 like, I like how it colours the metal as well, Chris. Just makes it look a little bit different. It makes it look two-tone. A bit like these stickers. You know these stickers of Tim's? These little typewriter keys. It looks sort of like that, sort of mottled. So what I'm thinking is this can go here because there's a little name on the label. So I'm going to add that there. A wing nut. That's it, Linda. I couldn't think what it called it. A wing nut. <laughs> do you know, Linda, I've really enjoyed the break because I've been able to do some gardening. I've been able to reorganise my room. It's been lovely. But I've not been totally having a break because I've been doing some new designs because you always have to stay ahead of the game with new designs. So it's never a case of you can totally switch off. So I'm just going to add this here, like so. Just press that down and I'll, I'll lift it up so you can see there's a little name underneath. And I can't leave that like that. Where's my little... I've got these tiniest nut things here and one of them's gone missing. Look how small this is. But these little touches... Oh, pick it up, Tracy. I can't pick it up. It's so small. I've got, I can't pick it up. Let me see. My hands are so grubby and sticky. I'm using these little, can you see them? Oh, bless you, Kate. No ducklings yet, June, but I have drawn you, I may have drawn you in a strandshire. I don't know when that'll be released though, but I may have drawn you one. See those little screws? I'm going to add those here because it just finishes it off a little bit more. You just have to think about your finishing touches. Don't be in a rush just to, to finish something for the sake of finishing it. Sometimes walk away and think about how you can finish it. So that just finishes my little project there with the, with the nuts. Just gives it a little finishing touch. I just love that. And you see, I've even got a little rusty nail. Uh, Ginny sent me some rusty paper clips. She sent me some rusty paper clips. So I may be using that as well. So she sent me some rusty paper clips and some rusty bottle caps. They're just fab. I love them. But it's probably going to be my index clips that go on there because I want the index clips to just coordinate like so. So I'm thinking about the balance all the time. Yes, the glue is, bear with me, the glue is tonic. Tonic Craft Tacky Glue. They're all in different bottles, but they're the same thing. So it's Tonic's Tacky Glue. Tonic's Tacky Glue. But they're just in different bottles. I get them when they're on sale. Jennifer always tells me when they're on sale. So I get them when they're on sale. So what I'm going to do is just adhere those. I've lost my lid. To, I, I lose everything. I lose the lid to me glue. So I'm going to add these index clips. It's just thinking about the whole layout. And I've not rushed this Facebook Live because I've not seen you for a while. So I didn't want to rush it really. It makes me happy not to not to rush the whole project. Like so. And I'm just may tuck a little B, letter B for the B. Oh bless you, Lynette. Thank you. You're very welcome. I love everybody's company, to be honest, Lynette. I love everybody's company. So I'm just going to stick this little B embellishment just in the background for a B, for, to, to stand for the B. Just going to add this in the background. Where's my scissors? It is lovely having everybody back, Shelley. I agree. I agree, Shelley. It's lovely having everybody back. I've missed everybody. I do miss our chats. 
and the way I go off on a tangent. So I'm just adding that B. Let me see if I can find my white pen because I've not looked for anything just lately. Because I've not been around. Yes, we've got the white pen. Let me see if it needs pumping. Just add some white splatters to our background. Just a few white splatters. Like so. Let me see if I just want to add a little bit of book page. I did put some little pieces of book page just to see if I want to add a little touches of book page. Yes, I'll just add a little touch of book page as well. Oh, thank you, Shelley. They've all come after this, Shelley, so I can't wait to see what you create, Shelley. I love seeing everybody's artwork because you always think totally different to the way I think. And you always use different colour schemes as well, which is what I love. I love the fact that you use different colour schemes or you use a different shade. I just love the fact you use different shades. I'm just pressing that down. Just adding a little bit of book page. Just move those, because you have to wait for everything to dry, but we haven't got time to wait for everything to dry, have we? Unfortunately. So I'm just adding a couple of pieces of book page. Thanks so much. What are they called, Belinda? So Marie is asking Belinda. What did Belinda say? What did Belinda say? Tim Holtz from Amazon. Oh, there you go. I either use a Posca pen or there's two different types I use. I use a Motolo or I use the uh, Posca pens. Motolo or Posca pen. Them are the only two I use. But more often than not, it's Posca that I use. It's the Posca pen that I use because they are readily available, easy to get, easy to find, and you can use them on any surface over acrylic paint, not just for paint splatters, like so. You see, I just love the project. I just love the fact. There we go. Let me just lift this up a little bit so you can see the project. Sid, I use a Motolo or I use Posca. Let me get the pens for you. Hang on a second. These are what I use, Sid. These. Let me hold it up to the camera. Them are the ones I use. Excuse my terribly grubby hands. But my hands are so disgustingly grubby. But them are the ones that I use, Sid. And I hope you're well, Sid. So this just then, let's move this out the way. Let's take a glance at our project. Let's just have a look at our project. Just to make sure that we're happy. I think I'm going to add a little bit of black tape just to finish it off. Vintage keys would be nice. Vintage keys are fab. I've already got a vintage key stamp, so... I'm trying to get the backing off this and with my nails now they've grown is like an impossibility. Come on Tracy, there we go. So I'm just going to oh me me acrylic me index clip isn't quite dry. Just going to add this here. Everything's moving because it's not quite dry and I normally need to let it to give it time to dry. So I'm just using a bit of the black tape to go with the B. Turn the B so he's nice and straight. That's it. What are we saying? Of course the black tape's coming out, Jennifer. You know me. I want to try and use... My aim is to try and use everything you've been buying in the last few weeks. My aim is to keep using it so that you use your product so much rather than leaving it on the shelf. I don't want you to leave your product on the shelf. I want you to use it. So that... Ooh, hang on a minute. Let me just think now. Press that down. And that, I think, is the product, the project finished. The pop of black just finishes it off. 
So that is our project finished. And there's actually writing under there that you may not be able to see, but there's actually a label underneath there. It's actually got very pale beige text. But I love these metal embellishments. I just think it finishes the piece off. And that B and the text, it's just a lovely focal image. I'm quite pleased with that. I love that. A little bit of a different back. Oh, thank you very much for all the hearts. Thank you. You're all so good. And I have missed our Facebook Lives, I must admit. I've missed our Facebook Lives. And I just love that project. It's a nice size as well. Do you want me to tell you the size? Belinda normally asks me the size. Whoops. The size of the project is... Eight inches in length and four inches in width. I have waited hard in pennies that way. I have bought products and hardly used them and then they have gone hard. No, you need to use them, Jenny, honestly. You need to use them, get them used. So that's our project for today. And I think what I'm going to do next time when I do a Facebook Live is I might use alcohol links. And have you seen me little tool? Hey, I've got a little tool, look. Look what I've got. I'm going to use that with my alcohol inks. It is good to be back together, isn't it, Lynn? Look at my little tool. I've got a blower. Hee <laughs> hee. Got a cute little blower for my alcohol inks. Oh, thank you, Belinda. Thank you. Yes, I have recharged. I've definitely recharged. So... I will definitely be back soon. I'll be back soon. Oh, thank you, Zoe. Thank you. So that I'll probably I will put a note up when I'm back soon. And don't forget the lovely Leone will give you some inspiration tomorrow. So if you're looking for some inspiration with the other stamp sets, Leone will be back tomorrow at 6 p.m. And she's got some fabulous bargains as well. So if I do get pictures, I'll put the pictures up for you. It is like a, a little mini leaf blower, Belinda. Look, it's like a leaf blower. Isn't it cute? How cute is that? It's for cleaning. Um, it's for cleaning keyboards. But I thought it'd be good for blowing alcohol inks. It'd be good for blowing alcohol inks. So that's what I'm going to do. Plus, I like a little gadget. I do like a gadget. I am so weird. I'm so weird. <laughs> oh you use an ear thing for a blower you see i like how you've all got different things <laughs> so thank you very much everybody for joining me i know i've been missing for a while so i hope you enjoyed that and hopefully i will see you all soon i've got another b there as well might put it on the opposite corner yes i might put that on the opposite corner there yeah you know i'm terrible i never stop messing so i hope you all have a lovely evening thank you flower thank you june hope you have a lovely evening oh yes someone else said use it oh sorry about the buffering neat i don't know what that was and what how much was this it wasn't very this wasn't very dear chris i'll have to look the price up for you i'll look up the price I just liked it because it was like a toy. Sorry, I'm, I'm such a child. But yeah, it's not a pump one. It's got batteries. A hey, blows with batteries. It's got batteries. Can it tidy? Yes, it tidy the craft. It tidies the keyboard. <laughs> I'll have a look at what the price is. <laughs> so I'll see you all soon. Thank you. Thanks, Lee Donna. See you all soon. Lavinia stamp uses a babulous hairdryer. <laughs> No, I like my little tool, Diane. I'm, I'm a bit strange. <laughs> See you all Saturday for the workshop. See you all soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.